Like every year, I needed a volunteer from our students to help me during the inspection. And this year's choice was obvious. I'm fine, really. Well, you're looking off color, darling, and on edge. No, it's just that... It's just that I haven't heard from Leon since he left with the Origin Expedition from Kantar. And also, I... Well, we've got company. You'll tell me later, Dana, darling. Meantime, be good and stay safe. You too, Yunta. Is everything all right? You look under the weather. We don't want one of our best and brightest to fall ill now, do we? Thank you for asking, Frau Beckmann, but I'm just a little tired, that's all. And who was that lady? Um, just a friend. I met this summer. You do keep some surprising company, Fräulein Rose. Anyway, I have something for you that will take your mind off things. Oh? Would it interest you to see the mechanisms that enabled you to perform so brilliantly here last spring? That would be wonderful. Good. Come and join me at the kiosk when you have a moment. But don't be too long, though. Incredible. Isn't it just? You see these flags? Each mechanism housing for each musical automaton on the square is represented by one of these flags. Fascinating. Today is the day they are being serviced. Each mechanism has been inspected by an Academy maintenance man. In theory, they're all functional. But if you like, you can go and see these maintenance men on my behalf and fetch back their respective reports. You would be doing me a big favor, as I have to inspect the piano in the kiosk. And also, it will give you a chance to take a peek at each of the automaton mechanisms. Thank you. I'd be delighted. Now, take this. You'll need it to open the maintenance room that leads to the most impressive mechanism of all, that of the clock tower. Thank you, Frau Beckmann. Do you have any questions before you go? Do you know who built the mechanical orchestra? My father told me it didn't exist when he was young. They were built by a strange young French inventor by the name of Borrelberg some years ago. From what I heard, he was visiting Wagen while en route to the east, just after the huge fire that destroyed the town. He was moved by the legend of Vera Schonberg, that virtuoso who died in the fire. So he offered his talents to rebuild the city and create the mechanical orchestra. What happened to Vera Schönberg? My mother always says it's the saddest story. And she's right. You probably know that Vera Schönberg was Wagen's most famous musician at the beginning of the century. But her legend was truly born the night she performed a cello concerto, right here on the square. It was also the night of the worst fire in Wagen's modern history. And... Frau Schönberg, she... she died in the fire, right? She did. As well as all the other musicians and the entire audience. They were surrounded by flames, trapped on this square. How dreadful. Dreadful indeed. But according to the legend, Vera Schönberg kept playing Wagen's hymn until the very end. 
She understood they were all doomed to die, and her music brought them peace of mind during their last moments. This automaton you played with last spring was created in her image as a final tribute. I had no idea. Well, now you know all about the legend of Verishonberg. Was there something else, Fraulein Rose? When the mechanical orchestra played along with me last spring, it was incredible. But how does it manage to play at the same tempo as the piano? It was almost like in a dream. Oh, it wasn't dream work, Fraulein, but clockwork. The piano is connected to the mechanism that you are going to inspect and the hymn of Wagen played on the keys. That's what sets the rhythm and the intensity of the performance and that's what triggers everything else. I'll go and see the maintenance team. Good. Thank you, Fraulein. According to Frau Beckmann, it opens the maintenance room just next to the clock tower. Don't forget the maintenance man in the maintenance room of the clock tower. The room for which I gave you the key, Fraulein. You can tell Frau Beckman, this automaton still works correctly, but it's so filthy that it won't last long. It's going to take me the whole day to give it a good clean if it's to get past winter. I can hardly believe I held my concert here just six months ago. Six months. Seems like a lifetime. So much has happened. Meeting Leon for a start. It would be so good if he were here now. I love receiving his letters since he left to Baltea with the Origin Expedition. The way he described Kantar, the capital, made it sound like a city from a dream. We've said so much on paper. And I love to read between the lines. But since the expedition left Kanta for the mountains, no news. I just hope he's okay.
part of the mechanism was damaged, but I changed it. You can tell Frau Beckman everything's in order now. Wow. I would hate to be the one who must tune this. This looks... complex. What is this? So you're the one Frau Beckman sent, are you? Well, you can tell her there's no problem with this automaton. Just needs cleaning up and a bit of oiling. Have a gander at the mechanism if you like. The maintenance man said it was functional. I shouldn't touch it. It seems perfectly functional. Looks like the rector was right, Oscar. I should be able to find the mechanisms he wants me to repair by following the circuit Dana described in the report. They would still need to be accessible to us today, Kate Walker. Glad to see you haven't lost any of your legendary optimism, my dear Oscar. It looks like the Rector is desperate to reduce the costs of running the Academy. Excuse me? Hello? Now what? I see you're not a fan of modernizing the Square. Oh, the Council, in its great wisdom, deemed it outdated and unpredictable for the musical automatons to be triggered by the best student in the Academy, or a soloist, or a virtuoso visiting Vargan. Not to mention buskers, they certainly don't attract any tourists. No, what they thought was they would electrify and computerize the activation of the mechanical concert. So it would happen on a schedule, like an attraction. Did they do it? Oh, the talks went on and on, but nothing was ever done. And so the square has basically been abandoned. And the mechanical automatons have fallen into disrepair. There's just one problem. Even if I do manage to fix all the different parts of the mechanical orchestra, I still have to play the piano properly, and I haven't played piano since I left junior high. My mom bought me one when I was a kid, but it really wasn't my strong suit. There's no need to worry. You don't need to be a virtuoso to activate the mechanism. The mechanical orchestra will come out if you play all the notes in the right order, regardless of the rhythm. You just need to know the basics of music reading. 
Why is the Academy going to close? For the simple reason that we have no students. No students, no lessons. No lessons, no Academy. And why are there no students? <laughs> That's not a stupid question. Because the Mayor has taken away our grant that enabled our institution to become famous the world over. Why would he do that? Oh, budget restrictions, apparently. So, no staff, no students. No students, no lessons. I get it. But, between you and me and this counter, I'd say that's all just a pretext to get us out of the building. And why would anyone want to do that? To make others rich, of course. Property developers who are going to slice our institution up into shops, apartments, and office spaces. Just like they've done with all the other buildings around the musical square. I'd better get going then. Quite. Uh, good luck with the mechanisms, Fraulein.
Something's wrong. You seem to be on the right track to successfully completing the service the Rector asked of you. Thanks, Oscar. But I still have to find the other mechanisms. An automaton musician. Looks exactly like Hans's style. Like at Bohrstadt. Because of that van, I can't get to the mechanism. I'll have to find a way to move it. I need to find the owner.
Dragon of Balfirma, Dietrich. Couldn't talk. Hello, excuse me, but your your van's parked on the square and it's it's blocking the way. Would you mind moving it? Oh, sorry about that. I'm with a client nearby. I'll move it right away. Thank you. Hard to fall to me. I don't think they mentioned this code in the report. Given the condition of that door, it should give way if I force it a bit. Impossible, Kate Walker. Such an act is illegal. Let's just hope that no police come by here. connection between this mechanism and the other ones on the square seems to be operational. Looks like a part is missing. I was not conceived to perform this function, Kate Walker. wrong.
Better try another one. Something's wrong.
see what's next. Looks locked. I can't go in. It's locked. Hey, careful what you're doing here, right? Don't go and injure yourself or damage any of the material. The spare parts for the automatons on the square. I just come down from the tower. You can tell Frau Beckman everything's in order up there. The mechanism's in perfect condition. According to what the maintenance guy told Dana, there should be an access to the clock tower somewhere in the room. Everything's fine upstairs. No need to return. That elevator Dana tried to take, it leads to the clock tower. We need to find it, Oscar. According to the report, we can access the clock tower mechanism through this building, in what today must be the back room. There is every indication that it is forbidden to the public, Kate Walker. Come on, Kate, gotta think out of the box. Ah, Fräulein. So, anything else I can help you with? Well, I... I need to get to the back room of the shop. This shop? Yes, if you don't... I'm sorry, but it's strictly forbidden to the public. Besides, why would anyone want to go back there? Well, it seems that the back room has the only access to the clock tower, which is where I need to get. I'm sorry, but it's against company rules. I can't allow it, Fräulein. Okay, thanks anyway. Okay, I need to find another way in. The elevator Dana saw during her inspection must be right here, behind the door. I need to find a way to reach it.
You again? Did you want something, Fräulein? Go and write out your report to Frau Beckman. There's nothing else for you to do here. I should go back and see Frau Beckman. The report ends here. It doesn't say what happened next. I think it contains all the information you need to repair the mechanisms on the square, Kate Walker. The report ends here. It doesn't say what happened next. I think it contains all the information you need to repair the mechanisms on the square, Kate Walker. should be able to get through it, if I can reach it. I should be able to push this dumpster under the window. Now I just have to find the elevator to the clock tower. Must I remind you that we are here illegally, Kate Walker? The employee will be very surprised to see you coming out of his back room. According to the report, the elevator should be behind there. Let's hope it hasn't been walled up since. There. Okay, just need to clear the passageway.
Looks like I need to put that key in the mechanism to activate it. I should open those large doors. They're still magnificent, in spite of their age. I wonder how long it's been since they were activated. for me to do here. Looks like spare parts for automatons. I should be able to unlock the doors with that mechanism. Three working now. One more to go. Okay, 
I think this is the last one. That's right, Kate Walker. You have to go back and activate the piano on the square like the rector asked you. All the mechanisms on the square are working. I just need to deal with the piano now. It looks like this wheel is designed to activate the piano's engine, thanks to the dynamo effect, Kate Walker. Then I guess I'm gonna have to put my thinking cap on again. I can't play. The engine is off. No. Kate Walker, are you intentionally trying to damage me? Come back and see me when you've managed to activate the mechanical orchestra on the square. I can't play. The engine is off. Okay, the sheet music is in place. I can't play. The engine is off. That doesn't work. I need to find a way to activate the piano. Poor little thing. There is no need to get sentimental, Kate Walker. 
The automaton was made for a specific purpose. It has no notion of sentiment. Indeed, I would go as far to say that it was a basic monofunctional automaton, unlike some of us more evolved automatons, built to serve several purposes. Broken. Wait, Kate Walker, I am a highly evolved automaton. Yes, and built to serve several purposes. Off you go now. I see. You still haven't lost any of your irritating habits, Kate Walker. Look on the bright side, Oscar. Thanks to you, the piano works now. Well, hurry up and make use of it like the rector said. Kate Walker? It's the same. Exactly the same. I beg your pardon? The song I just played with the automatons, Vaughan's hymn? It's exactly the same melody as the one my mom's music box used to play. I used to listen to it all the time when I was a kid. We never did find out what it was. And finding it today represents a major breakthrough because? Because it means that there must be a link between Vaughan, my mom, and probably Dana too. Dana, who looks so much like me. Ah, a family connection then. I don't know, but it's possible. And you can be sure as hell that I'm going to find out as soon as I've picked up Dana's trail again. Come on, Oscar. Our dear Mahler owes us a file. Did I already mention how humiliating I think this is? Oh, you did, Oscar. You did. <laughs> 